My name is Anne Michte and I will present a short summary of the Starts Price Evaluation Study dealing with the years 2017-2019. I'll start with the design of the study. It's a qualitative study that was conducted as an alternative to a formal quantitative impact study. As there was no base measure available, I assessed the price premise as a theory of change. For the full premise, I'd like to refer to the text in the brochure. The starch price in my study is the theory of changes intervention. And the key findings from the previous ICT Art Connect research reports are the indicators to assess this theory of change. Uh, the study includes a compact literature study, jury reports, questionnaires and in-depth interviews with seven winners and nominees. These key findings are listed uh, here and will be listed later on at the side of my slides. The questionnaires and interviews brought along critical notes and suggestions for future editions of the Starts Prize. In this short presentation, I'll browse through the indicators and some striking findings and figures, but I will start with another part of the Starts premise and a general observation. Another part of the Starts premise states that the Starts Prize ambition is to give visibility to the innovative, creative potential of science, technology and the arts, with artists as catalyst for innovation in society and industry. 88.6% of the respondents stated that the Starts Prize did indeed have promotional value for them. According to the respondents, the Starts Prize contribution to global promotional outreach was by far its most important asset. The issue of gender balance was a general finding that was brought forward by Gilia Tomasello, grand prize winner for the artistic category in 2018. For the Starts Prize, Applicants, uh, uh, for the Starts Prize, we see a steady trend in 2017, 18 and 19 of around 35% female and 64% male Start Prize applicants among the entries by individuals. There were no figures about gender compositions of the uh, group applicants. The average of these three years show a gender spread among the winners that is roughly in balance with the entries. Consequently, there are few, uh, fewer female than male winners and this is a point of concern regarding the image of the Starts Prize. Let's move to the indicators. Most prize winners, 89%, consider themselves to be a catalyst of social change or innovation for industry. These two strands are represented in nearly equal proportions. 28% uh, percent of these respondents thought of themselves as both. These uh, respondents can be found in the grand prize and the honorary mentions categories, like Julia Tomasello, who sees herself as social change agent and as an innovator for industry, while she talked about her awarded project F Future Flora, where she suggests wearing probiotics to keep the female body healthy. Most of all surveyed prize winners, 77%, state that their work contributed to the critical debate about technology in our daily life. For example, how artificial intelligence relates to human values, as is shown in the work A Mind by Alex Braga, where artificial intelligence and humans collaborate in a creative music improvisation. 
Most of the prize-winning uh, projects, 96%, reflect integrated views where innovation and social innovation is linked with a critical approach to technology. For example, dealing with ecological issues. 80% of the works refers to one or more sustainable development goals. An example is This is Grown, a biohacking project by Jen Keen, who combines sustainable social change and system innovation in industry. More than half of the surveyed prize winners deals uh, with social innovation. Several critical contributions deal with technology literacy in many creative forms, as can be experienced by the project by Be Another Lab, where they combine social innovation with novel technology applications and new organisms for education in Library of Ourselves. This is a timely and important contribution to the current uh, debate about the transition from STEM, science, technology, engineering, mathematics education, to STEAM education, science, technology, engineering, art and mathematics in Europe. We encountered an orientation towards the near future or distant future among many respondents, 71%. For example, in the project See Like a Pony by Sabine Engelhardt, who combined social innovation and innovation for the car industry to research intuitive interaction for automated or autonomous vehicles, which are expected to enter a public arena very soon. One indicator called our special attention, innovation, vis information visualization. As we found no specific example of information visualization among the respondents. However, when we stretch the information visualization, we could arrive at information and data experiences, like who wants to be a self-driving car by MoveLab. MoveLab uh, gives the driver who transforms into a car via a virtual reality headset access to the massive data streams that the car's decision rely upon. The car's three-dimensional mapping and object recognition is displayed in real time by the VR goggles. 97% of the respondents see themselves as disciplinary border crossers. Some cross the borders by collaborating with other disciplines or others uh, cross the uh, disciplinary border by embodying several disciplines um, or knowledge fields in one single person. In these enough innovating art practices, the selected disciplines and themes that are crossed or patched together all come from their intrinsic critical approach to technology. The artistic hands-on border crossing is a decompartmentalized innovation in research. And this is regarded highly relevant for dealing with today's wicked complex uh, problems. VTOL, for example, combines do-it-yourself approaches, hacktivism, a critical artistic approaches with music and engineering in his work Silk. Before I conclude, I would like to state that the science communication indicator is omnipresent in all projects, though it is mostly combined with a critical approach to technology. Furthermore, I propose a revision of the information visualization indicator towards a description that uh, includes this multisensory information and data experiences. Finally, I conclude that the outcome of this study underlines, underlines the relevance of the price and the theory of change uh, 
and its indicators could be used to understand shifts in results and an impact of over the long term. And I'll end with the respondents' recommendations. Many respondents suggested to show the starch price exhibition to be showed elsewhere in different settings. For example, in regular art settings or in exhibition uh, spaces and fairs for the industry. As mentioned earlier, the gender balance is an ongoing concern for the starch price image. And finally, I would like to highlight what has been brought forward by many respondents to strengthen the economic position of those working in the starch field by providing support to market not only their primary research outcomes, the artworks that are exhibited, but also the secondary research outcomes. Think of the spin-offs, the software they develop, and the businesses they want to they want to develop. This is especially relevant for those who are self-employed or working in small-scale studios and the last uh, COVID uh, crisis revealed their vulnerability. Thank you for uh, listening and thanks to all who contributed uh, to the study especially the artist and the starts uh, team from Ars Electronica Center.